Hello everyone and welcome to the New Tech 3 Play 3P1 Get Started Training. In this video, I'll show you how to use macros. Now, macros are a way for you to record actions on your 3 Play and then play them back with just a touch of a button, making complicated tasks very easy. Anything you can do on your 3 Play with a control surface or keyboard and mouse can be recorded as a macro. Let's take a look. So back in the 3 Play interface, to access your macros, go to the top left of the corner of your screen, click Macros, and Configure Macros. Now under System Commands, you'll see that there's a couple other system macros already built in for you, but I'm going to create a brand new macro and call that Build Highlight Reel. Okay, now from here, all I have to do is click Record, and that 3Play will now start to record the different actions and record them to a macro that I can play back later. So let's hit record and I will close that menu so you can see what I'm doing. So the first thing I'm going to do is I have one button marking on right now set to five seconds so that I can create an event simply by clicking the out button here on my control surface. And that's a good play to capture. Boom. So now I've set that. Now let's go over to our clip list, and I'm going to add all four of those angles to my playlist. So I'll navigate over to the event ID, click add to playlist. Awesome. So now I have all four of those angles in my playlist to use as a highlight reel. But I want to add one other thing, which is that new tech logo that I used earlier. So let's click add media, and I will browse my hard drive and find that logo. Boom. Now that's there. Cool. So let's go to the top of the screen under Macros, Configure Macros, and I will stop the recording for that. Okay. Now let's go ahead and play that back, see how it looks. So we'll go to Playlist under Output A, and let's play that back. I'm going to drive to the basket. Oh, you thought wrong. There we go. There's one. So let's see a different angle. Angle number three, wide shot. and another angle of that. And then right after this comes that new tech logo. Yeah, oh, that looks pretty awesome. Cool. Now, I'm gonna go back to my live output and let me reset my playlist here. So I'm just going to select all of these clips and delete it to clear it out. Now, there's another way to configure your macros to where you're not having to go back into this menu every time to execute this. So in this menu, you'll see at the very bottom, I have four different areas to add a trigger. And those can be assigned to either a button on your keyboard, or you can uh, program, say, like a Novation Launchpad, which is a MIDI controller that you can attach to the 3Play to then trigger different macros. So I'm going to click in here, and now it's listening for a command from me. So I'm going to just type Q on my keyboard. Sweet. All right. So let's exit out of here. So now all I have to do is press the Q letter on my keyboard to fire off that macro. All right, so let's go back to the game and let's watch what's going on here. All right, so there's an event. So now I've pressed Q and now you're going to watch the action start to play back here on the clip list. So you'll see those actions where I start to navigate over to the event ID and then I'll add all of those clips to the playlist. And then in a few seconds, you'll see that new tech logo appear in the playlist. All right, and there it is. And now if I go to my playlist, I can now play that back. Boom. So there's, that's how the macros work. Now, this angle is a little bit weird on here, so let's go ahead and make this a little smoother. So you'll see that I had a bunch of different delays in there because it was waiting for commands from when I previously recorded my macro. So if I go back into Macros, Configure Macros, let's click Edit, and now you'll see that this is a macro editor to where I can go in and start to manipulate some different fields within our macro. So I want to basically start to take out some of these uh, delays that I have in here. So, uh, for example, adding in uh, this logo at the bottom took way too long. So let me go ahead and I'm just going to make that one frame for each one of these actions. So it'll go really fast. 
right. I'll click OK. And let me clear out this playlist. And let's go back to our live game here. And now let's wait for an action to happen. All right, so we have a play going on here. Oh, from the three-point line. Boom, good, perfect th replay. So let's add Q. And now there's our replay all set up into the playlist, ready to go. So let's go to our playlist on output A and play that out. From a different angle. Here's our wide shot. And again, while you're doing these, you can slow these actions down using this T-bar. And then back to the new tech logo. We go back to live, and we're ready to create another event. So as you can see, macros are a great way to simplify your workload and make things a little easier on yourself. Now, in the next video, I'll be going over the NDI Telestrator Pro application so you can add graphics to your replays.